the final for the history bowl for 2023. On my left, I've got Thomas Jefferson High School Science and Tech, and on my right, I have the George School. So congratulations. Buzzer test, so we'll just start with Thomas Jefferson. Red two, red three, red four, and red five. Green side, green one, green two, green three, and green four. And players, you can also just tell us your first name, uh, just going in the end order starting here. All right, uh, my name is Rita. TJ, do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Vibo, V A I B H O D. I'm the left hand spell that I like you. I'm Anthony, spell Anthony. <laughs> My name is Matt. Spell Jesus. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys can hear me okay? Yep. Okay. I'm not sure where to put the mic. All right. All right then. With all that out of the way, I think we can go ahead and get started. So this will be the first quarter, toss and tumbling. Good luck to both teams. Here we go, number one. Before he became vice president, this man lived with an enslaved woman named Julia Chin as his common uh, green one. Richard Mentor Johnson. Correct. 10 points. Number two. Jean Louvet and a Tanagai de Chastel assassinated one leader of this polity on a bridge in Montereau. The Armagnac faction went to war with this polity, which was once ruled by a man known as the Fearless. The uh, that is Red Four. Burgundy is correct. Ten points. Number three. During a debate over this conflict, one admiral argued that kangaroos must be considered birds when they hop if the other side's argument was loud. After Herbie's Lima declared that one side had engaged in an act of hostility during this conflict, his navy captured the Cassiopeia. Zhao Do Kular used warships during this conflict in an effort to protect his nation's territorial waters. For 10 points, in this early 1960s diplomatic crisis in which Brazil and France nearly went to war over the right to harvest of uh, Red 3. The lobster over a marine crustacean. Good. Number four. A bronze bust of this man in Sheep Meadow was unveiled during a ceremony in which William Cullen Bryant gave a speech. This man published the Apostleship of the People while exiled in London. This man faced internment in Savona the year after he joined a secret society called the Carbonari. Karl Marx opposed the ideas of this man, who laid the foundation for modern European republicanism. For 10 points, identify this Genoese revolutionary who founded the Young Italy Movement. Mazzini is correct, the Young Italy Movement. Number five. One historical figure in this poem has resigned his part in the casual comedy. The author's lack of a strong connection with certain political figures is demonstrated in this poem with polite, meaningless words. This poem's reference to a man who rode our winged horse is a description of Patrick Hearst. Following a series of executions, the author of this poem claims all change changed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. For 10 points, in this W.B. Yeats poem set during the English uprising. Red three. The Irish Revolt of 1798. Incorrect. Time, that is Easter 1916. Number six. In 1958, the United States Atomic Energy Commission was relocated to a city of this name in order to be far enough away from Washington, D.C. in case of an attack. Residents of an area of this name signed a 1688 petition against slavery. Those Quakers inhabited an area of this name where William Howe and George Washington fought in the aftermath of the Battle of Brandywine. For 10 points, and give this name, uh, Red 3, Germantown is correct. Number 7. Along with the Diana and the namesake ship of its class, this ship was one of three Pal Palata cruisers. The Aurora, right? 10 points. Number 8. Josiah Bushnell Grinnell claimed that he was the addressee of the earliest instance of this four-word quote, which was followed by a statement about idlers and imbeciles. A note about the disgustingness of dust in Washington, D.C. 
precedes a printed instance of this book, which was followed by the clause and brought with the country. That 1860, uh, that is right, fine. Young man, go west. Uh, incorrect, I'll give you the question. That 1865 instance of this quote appeared in a daily publication edited by the man who said it, printed in the New York Tribune by Horace Greeley for 10 points. What is this quote urging listeners to travel in a certain direction? Uh, read one. Go west, young man. That's the order of the words, yes. 10 points. Number nine. This man sends a letter to Hippolyto Irigoyen titled Plan for Realizing Bolivar's Dream. This one-time employee of Charles Butters used the term Colossus of the North to refer to the United States and led an attack on Talpaneca, in which his supporters attacked Marines with machetes. Often seen in wide-brimmed boots, this man inspired a movement that opposed the Somoza family and would later run a nationwide literacy campaign. For 10 points, identify this man, the inspiration for a socialist political party in Nicaragua. At this time, it is Augusto Cesar Sandino. And number 10, last of the quarter. In 2000, this son of a lone man was posthumously inducted into the Nebraska Hall of Fame, 91 years after he died on the Pine Ridge Reservation. This man, considered by some to be the most photographed American Indian, first posed from uh, Red Five. Sitting Bull. Uh, incorrect. I'll do the question. <laughs> this man, considered by some to be the most photographed American Indian, first posed from Matthew Brady before meeting with President Grant in 1872. This man signed the treaty to Fort Laramie, after which he led the Ogallala. The Fetterman fight was fought during a war named for, for 10 points, named this Lakota Sioux Chief. I agree to you. Uh, no, the crazy horse is not right. This is Red Cloud. And that marks the end of the first quarter. Uh, Todd, what is our score? Uh, DJ 50, first one. All right. Very good. So it's 50 to 20 in favor of TJ as we go to the second quarter. Toss ups with a one part non rebounding bonus. Number one. This man's apocalyptic views led to the founding of the magazine Signs of the Times. One of this man's followers, Ellen G. Weiss, became a prophet in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The Jewish Karaite calendar was used to make a calculation which led this man, uh, read one, Miller. Miller is correct, 10 points. Your bonus. Miller was a major influence on this American Christian denomination co-founded by James and Ellen G. White. No, it's the Seventh-day Adventist. Toss up two. Simone Gesso and Andrea Poyahulo are a noble and cardinal from this city in a literary work that premiered in 1891 on Broadway. That blank verse work by Oscar Wilde is titled For the Duchess of This City. A poet from this city wrote an epic set during the Second Punic War and focuses on the accomplishments of Scipio Africanus. Africa is an epic by a poet from, for 10 points, what Italian city in Veneto, the birthplace of Petrarch? Read one. Venice? No, sorry. Not Venice. Uh, Red four. No, it's not Verona either. It's Padua. All right, number three. One side's army during this battle supplanted its European infantry forces with 2,100 members of the Dusad community. Yarl Latuf Khan and Ruma Chan were among those who conspired with one side to not fight in the 50,000-man army of the defeated Nawab of this battle, which featured the Bashir, uh, Red Three. Plassi is right. TJ's bonus. This British governor established company control over Bengal by winning the battle of Plassi. Robert Klein is correct. All right, on to number four. The second ruler of this dynasty, Leo VI, may have actually been the son of Michael the Amorian. This dynasty, whose rulers included women such as Theodora and Zoe, was briefly usurped by the Lecapenos family under Romanos I, though Constantine VII restored the descendants of Basil I to power. Uh, Red Four. That's the Macedonian dynasty, yeah. Your bonus. Basil the Bulgar Slayer founded what imperial guard composed of Norse recruits? The Marangian Guard, that's right. 
Next is number five. For a role in this opera, Marian Anderson became the first African American to perform as a soloist in a Met production. The Star Spangled Banner was played at the intermission of a production of this opera, attended by Abraham Lincoln prior to his inauguration. A fortune teller was the basis of Ulrika in this opera, whose setting was changed by censors to colonial era Boston. This opera was inspired by an incident in which a king of Sweden named Gustav III was assassinated in Stockholm's Royal Opera House. For 10 points, Ricardo is killed in what opera by Giuseppe Verdi? Uh, Red 3. Uh, no, sorry. Pretty pronounced. Uh, Red 3. Red 3. Red 3. Time. This is Un Malo in Mascera, or a masked ball. Next is number 6. According to Antigonos, this woman was innocent as she was being held as an unwilling concubine of Romulus. After this woman's death, Janus created geysers of boiling water to protect the forum. According to Varro, this woman was the daughter of Spurius and a Vestal virgin. This woman asked the army of Titus Tatius for what they bore on their left arms in anticipation of receiving gold bracelets, but was later uh, incorrect, I'll give you the question, but was later crushed to death by the Sabinus shields. For 10 points, identify this legendary Roman woman who names a rock where traitors were thrown to their deaths. And that is time, that is Tarpeia, or the Tarpeia rock. Next page, number seven. After realizing that a logistical specialist would be a better fit for one operation, this man resigned in favor of William Tunner. This man replaced Haywood Hansel in one role, in which he found that jet streams rendered high-altitude precision bombings less effective than alternatives. An X-shaped attack was carried out by this commander, who oversaw the Berlin airlift, and used B-29s outfitted with napalm. Uh, Ridgeway? Ridgeway. Sorry? Ridgeway. Incorrect. I'll give you the question. Um, who oversaw the Berlin airlift and used B-29s outfitted with napalm to carry out a series of 1945 raids that left an estimated 100,000 Green one. Honor Harris? No, sorry. I'll finish the question for 10 points. Name this commander who oversaw the firebombing of Tokyo. And his name is Curtis LeMay. Three more questions to go with the quarter. Number eight. In addressing one group, this document says, may their punishment be equal to the magnitude of their treason so that the stain of our ignominy is washed off. A meeting between Pablo Murillo and the issuer of this document led to the end of its effectiveness in 1820. This text notes how an army sent by the sovereign Congress of New Granada had arrived with, uh, that's read to? War to the death, correct. TJ, your bonus. The decree was issued during this campaign by Bolivar, an attempt to free Venezuela from Spanish control in 1813. The admirable campaign, that's right. Number nine. This event began with the occupation of the Vorwärts and Berliner Tageblatt newspaper. The, the leaders of this event called for strikes against the Council of People's Deputies. Units led by Gustav Noska put down this uprising, preserving the government of Friedrich Ebbett. Um, green one. Uh, Spark is revolt? Yes, that's correct. I will accept that. Your motives. The Spartacist uprising was part of this civil conflict in the German Empire, named from months which began with the key revolt and resulted in the transition from the monarchy to the Weimar Republic. So, Red November? Um, incorrect, it's only, it's just November, just the November Revolution. All right, and number 10, last in the quarter. Passengers from this ship were attacked by police at Budge Budge Port due to concerns they imposed British rule. In 2008, Stephen Harper formally apologized for the government's treatment of this ship, whose voyage was organized by Murdin Singh. Because they did not, uh, that is Green One, USS St. Louis. No, I'm sorry, I'm going to take the question. Because they did not possess $200 and stopped en route to Vancouver, passengers on this ship were denied immigration. 22 immigrant passengers were shot by police when, for 10 points, when Japanese ship was sent back to India by Canadian authorities. And then it's time, and the ship is called Komagata Mamadu. All right, Todd, what do we have after two? TJ110, George Wood. Okay. 
Oh, and it's, you know, I seem to have not brought my phone with me, so I need a timer. Do you mind, please, Doc? Will you do my timer again? Okay. All right, so because TJ is in the lead, they choose first. Once the third quarter, your categories are Maryland, the Treaty of Trianon, and the Imperial Examinations. Trianon. The Treaty of Trianon has been selected. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, the clock will begin when I say number one. All right, here we go. Regarding the Treaty of Trianon, name the number one palace in which the treaty was signed, the same as that in World War One. Sorry, sorry. Yes, country that gained Transylvania through the treaty and into its territory. Hmm? Yes, small state detached from Hungary and attached to the former Czech territory of the Austrian Empire. Oh, yeah. Yes, Hungarian region who attempted to undo the treaty up to and during World War Two. Oh, yes, social democratic revolution named for a flower that broke out prior to the signing of the treaty. What? No. Communist dictator whose 1919 fall enabled the treaty. Yes. Region partition between three countries, including Serbia, centered in Timisoara. Yes. And the only city in Austria in Bergenland that stayed with Hungary following the namesake of Lima site. Okay. That's six for six. All right. So we're going to bring on back to George to do part six and part eight. Regarding the Treaty of Trianon, name the cop. No, 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 and the other one was the only city in Austrian Bergenland that stayed with Hungary following the namesake of Klebicide. No, so far. So far. All right, so nothing on the rebound. That's all right. Because now it's the George School's turn to choose. The remaining categories, just to remind you, are Maryland and Imperial Examinations. Maryland has been selected. Well, let me turn the page, but that's what I'm, that's my list of categories. And that's what I've got in front of me. Once again, Maryland has been selected. All right, here we go. Concerning the old line state, may be number one, capital city in which Washington resigned as head of the Continental Army. Yes. Fort besieged by the British in 1814, the subject of Francis Scott King. Yeah. Bloody single day battle in the Civil War, fought in Washington County. Yes. British noble who founded the province of Maryland as a haven for Catholics. Yes, first major railroad in the U.S. that was founded in Maryland in 1830. Um, Incorrect. The 1814 American defeat that led to the burning of Washington. Yes, Protestant English pioneer in Virginia whose attempts to retake Kent Island from Maryland led to some of the earliest naval battles in North America. Aircrafts? No. And the battle during Coon's Rebellion that is often considered the final skirmish of the English Civil War. Uh, the battle of... Time. Time. All right. <laughs> so you got five for 50 points. All right. So this one's going to be five, seven, and eight. All right. So TJ, we're concerning the old line state. Name the first major railroad in the U.S. that was founded in Maryland in 1830. Yeah. Or the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. That's right. Uh, Name the Protestant English pioneer in Virginia whose attempts to retake Kent Island from Maryland led to some of the earliest naval battles in North America. No, his name is William Claiborne. Oh! And uh, number eight is Name the battle during Coon's Rebellion that is often considered the final skirmish of the English Civil War. No answer. That is the Battle of the Severn. So, one part for ten on the rebound. Uh, how are we situated? 
All right. Okay. So we go into the last quarter, where it's 30, 20, or 10, depending on where you get it correct. Here we go. Good luck. Number one. Oh, actually, why don't we take a score check? Uh, TJ, one eight for 20. Okay. The gap is 90 as we go into the fourth quarter. Here we go. Number one. This politician wrote the influential treatise on the law of sale of personal property, which is still considered a key text of English civil law. This politician was the first self-identified Jewish man ever elected to the Senate. This politician served as Secretary of War, Attorney General, and Secretary of State of a certain polity in a four-year window. For 10 points, name this most important cabinet member of the Confederate States. Uh, that is Green One. Let's go for 10 points. Next is number two. In one position, this man unsuccessfully tried to suppress new stories reporting on the death of his friend, Harry Oates. Winston Churchill supported the morganatic alternative suggestion proposed by this man, who served as governor of the Bahamas. The predecessor of this man changed the name of the House of Saxe Coburg. Uh, that is Green One. I don't know what Incorrect, I'll change the question. Uh, changed the name of the House of Saxe Coburg Gotham to the House of Windsor. This son of George V reigned in 1936. But is it, uh, that is Red Four. It's out of the eight for 20 points. Number three. Lionel Phillips was sentenced to hang for his involvement in this event, though that sentence was commuted. Upon hearing of this event, one politician said, if this succeeds, it will ruin me. Hercules Robinson was ordered by Joseph Chamberlain to put down this event, which attempted to rile the fleet landers. Rhodesia was the launching point of this event, which involved a group of workers called the Johannesburg Conspirators. For 10 points, uh, that is read to. James is right for 10. Number four. <clears throat> In describing one of his own works, this painter claimed that the strength of the eagle's eye is really astonishing. At the behest of the Supreme Executive Council of Pennsylvania, this man created the earliest official painting George Washington. In his later years, this man created a work in which he lifts a curtain displaying his museum in Independence Hall. An ornithologist named Titian and an artist named Rembrandt were among the sons of this man. For 10 points in this Revolutionary War era American painter of Washington and Princeton. Red three. Second. No, sorry. Uh, green one. Trouble. Uh, no, Charles Wilson Peel. Coming up, number five. Skip Porteous's book Into the Blast focuses on a theory linking this man to Kenneth Peter Christensen. This man noted the distance between the court field and a location in Tacoma in order to bourbon and set it up. A request for $200,000 was made by this man to one attendant, along with a request for two primary and two reserve items he later used. Uh, that is read three. D.B. Cooper is good for 20. Number six. This man explained his willingness to brand his product with his own name by saying, I will never put my name on a product that does not have in it the best that is in me. This man was inspired by the way that sharpened steel pitchforks and saws effortlessly cut their materials to create a self-scouring mold board for his most famous invention. This man names a tractor factory headquartered in Moline, Illinois. For 10 points, Amos American blacksmith who invented the first commercial steel plow and the uh, red three. No. And names a brand of often green machinery. That is time. That is John Deere. Number seven. At this battle, a risky attack was led along what is now Hatter with Lane. One commander at this non-American battle was devastated by the death of his dog named Boy. A book by John Newman focusing on this battle was subtitled The Battle of the Five Armies. The victor of this battle was described as having swept his opponents like dust in a letter addressed to Henry Overton. The Earl of Levin commanded Covenant or four forces at this battle, which was fought during the interregnum. For 10 points, in his English Civil War battle in Yorkshire that occurred a year prior to the Battle of Naseby. That is red three. Uh, yes, that's correct. For 10. Uh, number eight. Aga, Aga Mahethi was the main consort of one leader of this kingdom who received a jade piece that had come into contact with the tooth of the Buddha as tribute from the Nanshao kingdom. The greatest ruler of this kingdom brought the Shan states and Arakan under its dominion. A privy council dating to this kingdom, which ruled before the Khan Bao, would evolve into, into its country's legislature and was known as the Hook Law. Anurwata was the greatest ruler of this kingdom, which unified the Irrawaddy Valley for 10 points in this early Burmese kingdom. And 
It's time, that's the thing it was doing. Two questions remain. Number nine. In this city, Saudi embassy, Guy Hyde and George Curtis Little were among the hostages held by Black September. A pharmaceutical plant directly north of this city was bombed by the U.S. in 1998 in response to the East African embassy bombings. Originally founded as an Egyptian army outpost, this city was the site of a siege in 1884 to 1885 by forces loyal to Muhammad Ahmad, in which the leader of the ever victorious army was killed. Charles Gordon died in this city 13 years before the Battle of Abdurman. Uh, green one? Cartoon. Cartoon is good for 10 points. And finally, number 10. In response to this event, one figure claimed, had this day been wanting, the world had never seen the last stage of perfection to which human nature is capable of attaining. Before speaking to those involved in this event, that figure said, Gentlemen, you will permit me to put on my spectacles, for I have not only grown gray, but almost blind in the service of my country. This event arose after a letter circulating among the Continental Army. Uh, green one. Um, incorrect. I'll continue the question. This event arose after a letter circulating among the Continental Army and urged soldiers to take action against inadequate pay. For 10, uh, that's red three. The Newburgh Conspiracy is good for 10 points. And that's all the questions I have. Thank you.